थर्ड सेमिस्टर कॉर्पोरेट टैक्स मैनेजमेंट सब्जेक्ट दिस इज द सिलेबस फॉर फर्स्ट यूनिट दट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू कॉर्पोरेट टैक्स मैनेजमेंट सी वाट इज कॉर्पोरेट टैक्स मैनेजमेंट वाट इज कॉर्पोरेट टैक्स I mentioned in the previous class. I told in the previous class. Corporate means a company. Big. Uh, you have seen various types of organizations. That is, These are the key elements of a corporate taxation. That is uh, taxation of business entities. It is related to taxation of business entities. Okay. It is the legal structure. See, whatever I I mentioned, you know, there are two ways. One is cheating government. You can reduce tax by cheating, and then you can reduce tax by making use of various provisions in the income tax act, nineteen sixty. So you are making, you are going to make use of the legal legal rates that are available as per the income tax. Then you you have to pay on taxable income only. Whatever income is there, on the total income you are not going to pay. Government will give certain exemptions, certain deductions will be there, certain deductions will be there. If you donate to certain funds, certain funds, government will give certain deductions. So you are going to make use of all those deductions. Okay, in a reducing the tax, then it is corporate tax rates. See, every year you you must have seen union finance minister presenting budget in the parliament. Now who is union finance minister? Nirmala Sitharaman. Okay, she is she is the one of the most powerful women in the world because she is leading the world's most powerful country. She is the finance minister. She is the Yeah, 
According to income tax rules, you have to follow the rules and the complaints means adhering to the rules and regulations. We have to follow the rules, we have to pay tax, we have to we have to pay tax at the time, we have to follow the income. Suppose we are going to ten that we should not speak out. Okay. We should not follow the rules and regulations. Significant of the significance of corporate taxation. These are the key elements. Revenue generation, I told you, income tax is a mode of revenue generation for the government. Economic stability, government can see to it that economically so, government is 
help of income tax. Okay. Wealth distribution. See what the government will do from which part of government is collecting tax. More tax government can collect. And uh, the poor will be given free of cost. Uh -huh. We have seen Prasanna Kanti Vichwala Yosha. Gas cylinders, so free of the gas. Okay, you are getting the Prasanna Kanti Vichwala Yosha. Now you have to stay in the Muslim state. Free of the gas cylinders. So the government is planning for various measures. So, so incentivizing investments. So, if anybody gives it, if you invest your money in a company, so you are going to provide you are provided with the incentives. Whatever the profit that comes, you are going to pay the bill there. Okay. So these are all this is why the property taxation in the travels. Global property business. In order to pay global properties, right from this, therefore we are important. Right? So the real we are so in order to increase property here, we have to Get a lot of the that is required for the requirements. Government has to pay you means government funds. So now you are studying if you are doing some of the classes. 50% of the student will not. So in order to pay the most of the problem with this government, it has funds. And that funds, government will get a lot of it. From companies, government will collect the taxes. Okay. Corporate behavior. Corporate means I don't know companies. So whatever companies are there, how they behave, the companies can be controlled with the help of government. Without see companies yet. 1956, <laughs> there is so so, the government has to see is very, very important. Did you understand? So, in a corporate taxation, various concepts are there. I told you in the previous class, I discussed assess it. Assess it. Means the person who has to pay a similar who has to pay a particular amount, who has to pay a general amount, who refund is due from that amount. In how many cases that person may be in the present? 
If a person if a person has to pay tax, but if he failed to pay tax in time, means he will be deemed as a team Means he has made a mistake. He has made Okay. So we are in a default. In the name itself, it is there. That is fault. Okay. You you can you can see here it's Fault is there, the name itself. So if you made a mistake, if you made a fault, if you made an error, you are responsible for it. You have to pay that. Okay. So I told in the previous verse, previous year, previous year, starts with everyone and everything is much I, I told the difference between calendar year and financial year. Calendar year will start on 1st January. It will end on December, January. This is 2018, January 2018, December. And uh, see, financial year, it will start on the 1st April 2018. It will end on 31st okay, This is previous year. And this is assessment year. Next year, April 1st, on April 1st, 2019, financial year will start. And it will end, it will end on 31st March 2020. So this is assessment year. This is the earlier year in minus three years. Okay. At degree level also, we have learned this. The previous year assessment year differences also previous year refers to the financial year that precedes the current financial precede means come before okay. it will follow assessment year is followed previous year next year is assessment year previous year previous year is known as previous year next year is known as assessment okay time duration it is for both of these years time duration is 12 months year also 12 Okay, it is the year of income, it is the year of tax calculation. Okay, in this year, as per this year, data will be collected how much income is generated. According to this one, tax, so how much tax has to be paid? Okay. Then this is an example. Okay, previous year 21 22, this is the financial year. Next financial year is. 22, 23 is the assessment. 21, 22 is the previous year. Okay, so it will start with the first first of April 2021. It will end on 31st March 2022. It will start on first April 2022. It will end on 31st March 2022. Did you understand? So types of companies. See primarily for income tax purpose, different companies are there, but First of all, we will see about Indian company and not Indian company, foreign. Okay, see, Indian company is always a resident company. Means it is established according to Indian Companies Act 1956 or New Companies Act 2013. Okay, see, not Indian company, OEM in India. What is OEM? OEM means it is not an English OEM or a okay. place of effective management. Place of effective management. 
Okay. See, even if you're having these terms, you know, the part But it's the next of the thing that has been these in India. These are the state of art. Art is the state of art. The state of art means, see, the art is the state of art. The state of art is the state of art. Okay. This is a very important way to get you outside. Okay. Did you understand? Oh, yeah. Play for five minutes. This is a state of the country. And that's in this. Another one. See. We start with the state of the state. We know it may be individual. It may be okay. Okay. The resident the company has to pay tax on Indian income and foreign. Please review. In the previous slide, we have read the resident company, non resident. The resident company is what I mentioned. If its poem is in India, its place of effective resident is in India, it is a resident company. It has to pay tax on Indian income and as far. See, if income is issued in India during the previous year and it is at the same time it happens to the so my salary, I am working here only. I am receiving salary from the government in India only. My salary, I am receiving here only. Approved also here. We are not receiving here only. I am receiving this salary. Second, second, second. 
See, it is received in India, but it occurred in Sri Lanka. Even then, it is again incomplete. Then, third condition you see, if income is received outside India, but it accrued in India, means I worked in India, but I received the salary in America for working here. Even then, it is Indian income. Okay, so Okay, domestic if it is a non domestic company, it need not pay income tax on foreign income. Okay, if it is a domestic company, it has to pay tax on Indian income as well as foreign. In both the incomes, it has to pay tax. Okay. Now, now you can you can see the tax incidence. If it is Indian income, it is taxable in India. If it is a foreign income, it is taxable in India. If it is resident, company is resident in India. If it is a company is not resident in India, the it is if, if Indian income is taxable, but foreign income is not taxable. For a, but a, for a non-resident company, it is not taxable. Only an Indian income. Indian income is like what? If it is any Indian income, any income is received in India. It is not Indian income. Okay. Then it is not Did you understand? If any doubt is there, you can please ask. Types of companies, but I, I don't know domestic company, foreign company. Okay. See, oh, first of all, you can see area of operations. You can see the domestic company, it will operate within the geographical boundaries of India. Outside India, it will not operate domestic companies. Okay. But here, foreign company will take activities, will carry out activities in several countries. I told you Japan market is Maybe Japan market can be You can telephone across the world. You cannot control it. It is a foreign company. Okay. Then it is registered under company domestic company. It is not registered under company company. Okay. Similarly, it is single currency. Domestic company is single currency. Foreign company they have will deal in multiple currencies. If it is operating in US, in a US dollar operates. Okay, if it is in Japan, Japan is here. In, in the Europe countries, it is Euro. Okay. So under income tax act, these are the various types of companies. These are the various types of companies. Okay. So uh, company. Widely held company, closely held company, Indian company, okay. domestic company, foreign company, investment company, resident of a company, residence of a company. Right? Residence of a company, we discuss what is the domestic company, what is not. Okay. You will see one of the other companies. Okay. As per section 2 of 78, company means any Indian company. Okay. Any Indian company means we do under the income tax This is under company CS. Okay. This is not it may be Indian company or it may be foreign company. Company means okay. It may it may have been registered outside India also. Okay. Any institution or association or body which was assessed as a company for any assessment. Under the Income Tax Act 1922, 
or what assets under this act as a company for any assessment year commencing on or before 19. So previously, if a, any institution is assessed as a company, then it will be deemed as a company to income. Okay. Then any institution or association or body, whether incorporated or not, and whether Indian or non-Indian, which is declared by a general or special order of CBDT to be a country. What is, what is CBDT? Earlier on the board. Central Board of Direct Tax. CBDT means Central Board of Direct Tax. Okay, you have direct taxes, indirect taxes. Indirect taxes, yes. Direct taxes in general is income tax. Okay. So you can see the central board of direct taxes. If you have a company, you can see the company. Okay. Incorporated means registered. Whether it is registered or not, it is immaterial. If CBD declares an institution as Next one is a company in which public are substantially invested. See, public at large are substantially invested means that is of importance to the country, that is of importance to the state. See, as the same company, if the tenders can be the first of the members, who is even the partner of the members, who is going to form the government. Right? Because it will be a class. Any government, if I did, any single government, I did, it's a government. Whichever companies are established, those companies are known as public in which company in which public are substantially then company declared by CBDT. I told you no, just now. CBDT means Central Board of Direct Taxes. So it will declare it will declare an institution as a company. When it declares it, that company is known as company in which public are substantially Okay. Then mutual benefit finance company. Mutual benefit finance, you have six months. Are not those subsidies which are in which public are substantially interested. Then mutual benefit finance companies are good. Mutual benefit finance companies are good. Then we also give in the reverse company. 
Widely held company. So all those companies in the public are substantially interested. They are known as widely held companies. Remaining all companies are known as closely held companies. Okay. Then Indian company is a company in which is a company which is registered under Indian Company Act. Yeah. Now, these two cases are new under the Act. Okay. Okay. See, I told you. Then you have to be able to get Okay. Then investment. See, you have at the your degree level, you have various income heads, income from charity, income from house property, income from business or profession, income from capital gains, income from other projects. These are five heads of income. So investment company is a company you can see majority of the income for them will come from income from house property, income from capital gains, and income from other sources. And income from business or profession, it will not be there. Majority. Okay. So income from business from income from house property, it will be from income from capital gains, and it will be from income from other sources. Okay, so based on residence, residential status of a company, I told the Indian company and uh, not not non-resident Indian. So if it's foreign, it's not resident. Okay, if it is foreign, is in India, it is a resident. Okay, did you understand? These are the various. Kinds of companies. Income section from income tax as per section 10 of income tax. Okay. These are the various incomes that are exempt from taxes. Okay. You can see agricultural income is exempt. Okay.
agricultural income is fully exempt from tax. Okay. Then payment received under Gopal gas. From urian carbide profit that that income is exempt from okay so compensation received in case of any disaster See, just now, 10 days back, one week back, you must have seen last week, two days, I will start with it. Why is that? So, the government will do some more to that. To any time, to pay the disaster, to pay the loss. So, that is not easy. It's just a lot of money. It's just a lot of money. Awards instituted by government. Suppose a company given award by the government. Then under award, government will give certain amount. That amount is not taxable. Okay. So awards, any amount that is received under any award instituted by government, that is a tax exempt. Okay. Income of scientific research association. See, companies will involve in research activities. They spend most of the in an R&D research and out of that uh, scientific research associations that they are involved in, those incomes are exempt tax. Okay? Then income from of some professional institutions. These professional institutions like the CAA, ICW, ICW, company secretaries. These professional institutions are last, last lawyers and informers are very simple. The arts will pass away in So, in case of the companies, if they are involved in professional carrying on professional activities, their incomes are exempt from tax, income tax. Okay? Income of investor protection fund, that is exempt from tax, income tax. Okay, then exemption of income of investor protection fund deposit. This, this income is exempted. Income exemption of for certain incomes of a venture capital. What is venture? Venture capital is there. Till now, nobody has produced that. That we are so, I have to go to the business. 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 I have
they are there to start a new kind of business. Okay, those incomes are exempt from. Okay, those companies which are regulating the marketing of ethical produce. Okay, just now I told my example of this that onions prices went up to four hundred. So if a company is regulating agricultural produce, then those companies incomes are exempt from this. Okay. Any income accruing or arising to commodity boards, commodity companies. Those boards, incomes are also exempt from income tax. So, amount received as subsidy are through the tea board. Every day, in several household houses, we will make a piece of tea, a cup of tea, and a So, those income, amount received by way of subsidy from any tea board. See, I have established a company to produce tea powder. That is state income. I received income from tea board. So that income I need not show it. Okay. The amount received as subsidy, as a subsidy are through the concerned board. From any concerned board, subsidy means reduce the prices. Okay, that, that amount I need not show any income tax returns. Income by way of a dividend from Indian company. If an Indian company receives a dividend from another Indian company, that is tax exempt. That need not be shown. Okay. Exemption of income to a shareholder company by way of shares company. By way of shares. Okay. Shares okay. and interest as investment. Okay. If the company receives any income like that, that income is exempt from tax. Okay. Exemption of income to a shareholder. Suppose a company itself is a shareholder. X company invested in Y company. The shares X company has purchased from Y company. And now it is in the shares to yes. So I will receive some income from my company. That is by the account shares. But the way companies which is at the market position only not to be then by the account shares. Same uh, I will tell you what here. I will give you hundred rupees. With that hundred rupees, you carry business for ten years. Now I am taking my then by the account shares. Securitization trust. It is a trust to it takes care of securities. Securities means yes. Yes. Bonds with our securities. Okay. okay. From the trust, whatever income that I receive, that is the tax exemption. Okay. So these are all available for corporate assets in the country. Corporate assets is mean not pay tax on the dividend income. Okay, interest on tax free bonds, income from infrastructure debt fund. Okay, infrastructure, what is infrastructure? Infrastructure means roads, dams, buildings, establishment of electricity, establishment of communication. This is known as infrastructure. Establishment of, you know, there's a difference. Government is a sports business. So, 
So that is the capital meaning of sale of long term capital assets, that is tax exempt for companies. Okay, income from units of business trust. If see the trust main aim is serving the society, serving its members. So whatever income that is received by them, it is tax exempt. Okay, income from venture capital by total of venture capital day. Okay, till now nobody has done the business. I have been setting up the thing. New product I want to receive income. So whatever income that I receive, that is tax exempt. Okay, venture capital funds. Then the government from time to time will declare. Some bodies as a specific bodies or specific authorities. Whatever income that is received from them, that is tax exempt. Okay. Or whatever income that is received by them, specific bodies, specific authorities. Their income they need not show to the income tax They are tax exempt. Okay. Then income of sales development and income. What is special Income are tax exempt. Income of says development of practice. Okay. Then agricultural income. I told you agricultural income is tax exempt. Then income of charitable or religious trusts. Religious trusts. Their income is tax exempt. If a company takes care of five participants or any religious persons welfare, those incomes are tax exempt. Okay. Did you understand? That's all. This is the first unit. Okay. So this is the first unit. This is completed. See, but these are the topics in first unit. You can see significance of corporate action, concepts, and the definitions of corporate income We have seen assessing, assessing in the part, deviation, assessing in the part, and definition of
Capital incomes and the tax of free increase, which are Okay, so thank you very much. In the next class, we will be. Yes.